आउज बिल्लामशी तो रजीम बिसमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर साइंस टीचर कोमल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आर सेकंड टर्म सिलेबस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंटिन्यू वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंटिन्यूटेड आर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स मिक्सचर्स एंड कंपाउंड्स टुडे वी हैव टू लर्न द टॉपिक नंबर फाइव पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स बट नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स बट बिफोर वी मस्ट गो थ्रू द फेज ऑफ मॉरल लेसन सो टूडेज मॉरल लेसन इज सुन्ना ऑफ फ्राइडे द लिस्ट टू डू ऑन फ्राइडे सो इट इज़ वेरी कॉमन सुन्ना टू टेक अ बाथ ऑन फ्राइडे वी आर गुड क्लॉथ वी आर न्यू क्लॉथ वी हैव टू स्मेल गुड डू मुस्वाग ट्रिम योर नेल्स हेल्पिंग अदर्स रिसाइटिंग होली कुरान एंड फॉलोइंग डिफरेंट हदीस ओके As I told you that we have to study today the topic five point five that is classification of elements. Okay, classifications of element. Why there is need of classification? This is the uh, very first question when we uh, study about classification. If elements are not classified into groups with similar properties, the chemist will have to deal with each separately. now who is chemist chemist is a person who deals with medicines who study about medicines this would make the things nearly impossible for the chemist to deal with each and every chemical and element separately so for their ease for their uh, relax relaxification and to identify the elements easily and as soon as possible classification is very important knowing the properties of one element in the groups allow the chemist to approximately know the properties of all the elements in the group yes this is a chemist chemist must be a male person or a female person uh, so if a chemist know about the property of one chemical or element uh, she or he also knows the properties of other elements also as all the elements are placed in the periodic table classification of elements metals and non metals one by one we study both the group of elements metals so these are few metals which we are going to study in our further slides metals are mostly solid except mercury and gallium mercury is the metal which is present always present in liquid form gallium is also a uh, metal which is present in liquid form uh, these are only two liquid metals despite them all of the other metals are in solid form elements are called metals when they have following properties they are hard they have hardness and strength they cannot be molded easily they have luster shiny at their reflect light luster mean they have shiny slippery surface they can conduct heat and electricity they have high melting and boiling point it mean they are hard and they have strength so it is somehow difficult to melt them or boil them easily ductility that they can be uh, drawn they can be converted into the wires metal are used in making wires they are malleable it mean they can be converted into uh, uh different shapes by applying pressure for example aluminum aluminum sheets sonorous metals are sonorous it's mean when two metals uh hit together with each other the sound which the sound which is at high frequency the loud sound is produced scientists name that uh pitchy sound as sonorous voice so examples of metals some common examples of metal are uh, over here as follow number 1 gold you are watching over here all of you are familiar with this so the symbol for gold is au 
so coming toward the silver this is also a metal and the symbol used for silver is ag now iron the symbol used for iron is fe and this is how it looks like chromium the symbol used for chromium is cr and this is how the chromium looks like copper cu is the symbol used for copper and this is how the copper looks like zinc the symbol used for zinc is zn and this is how the zinc looks like need to know so some common terminologies which we have used uh, while uh, studying the properties of metals so number one property ductility is the ability of metal to draw them into wires we can convert them into wires we can make wires uh, by this property for example copper you are watching over here copper are being molded to form the wires malleability is the ability of metal to harm uh, into sheet for example aluminium aluminium foils are over here you are watching this so malleability is the property of metal in which by applying pressure they can be converted into sheets snorious is the ability of metal to produce sound when tapped for example sonorous sonority when you hit a metal it's make a ringing sound scientists say that metals are sonorous non metals as you are watching over here there are different uh, examples of non metals non metals element that are not metal and lack quality of metal uh, most of non metals are gaseous for example nitrogen hydrogen oxygen fluorine neon chloride all of these are example of gaseous metal non metals the non metals which are present in gaseous form uh only one non metal is present in liquid form that is bromine and this is how the bromine look like and the symbol used for bromine is br a few are solids for example carbon and sulfur these two non metals are in solid form for example the carbon and the sulfur these two solids are the example of non metals elements are classified into non metals when they have following properties non metal do not have luster it's mean they don't have shiny and slippery surface for except iodine only iodine has lustrous surface non metals usually not ductile and non malleable it mean they cannot be molded into the sheets and into the wires non metal do not produce sound when tap it's mean they are non sonorous non metals have relatively low melting and boiling point they can easily boil and they can easily melt non metal are not conductor of heat and electricity they do not conduct heat and electricity they are poor conductor of heat and electricity except graphite graphite is the only non metal which can conduct heat and electricity uh yes over here you are watching this is how the graphite looks like periodic table in uh, uh, my early slides i told you about the periodic table so here is the periodic table periodic table is a table which contain all the elements either in gaseous form solid form liquid form upon their similarities and differences they are placed in this table and this is the key which represent uh, by different colors for example this line over in yellow color this indicate the key indicate that these are noble gases the green color element the key indicate that these are non metal so this is how we can identify the elements very easily interesting information about 91 of the 118 elements in the periodic table are metal 17 elements are generally classified as non metals seven elements are known as metalloid 
Now, what is metalloid? This is something new for you people. Metalloid is a terminology used for those elements which contain properties of both metals and non-metals. They are in intermediate condition. They are present in between the situation. They have properties of both the metals and non-metals. So they are not neither classified as metal nor classified as non-metals.